All right, so we're going to talk today about the Mind Place Limina. This is a brand new mind machine which has only just been released, and I was lucky enough to be sent this to review. So, this is not a sponsored video, but I did get this for free. So, bear that in mind when you uh, listen to this review of the Mind Place Limina. So I've actually literally just got this. I'm going to unbox it now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox it so you can see like a first look at this thing. And then I'm going to test it. And then the video, the final video you see will be like um, a compilation of everything. So a compilation of the unboxing and actually me using it for a week or two. And that's what you're going to see in the final video. So here is the unboxing of the Mindplace Lumina. Now, my first thoughts are, I'm pretty sure this is going to be smaller than the Procyon, which is the last mine machine I reviewed, but I'm not entirely sure. So, <clears throat> so yes, it looks like this is a lot smaller than the Procyon, which is the first uh, mine machine that I did a full review of on this channel. And uh, so it looks pretty good. I have to say, it does look pretty good. And then you have this little protective covering here of the screen. Beautiful. So this one does look a lot better than the Procyon. It's got the same sort of uh, click wheel style buttons here. Very simple volume uh, or brightness, I should say, brightness control on the side, and then volume on this side. So it's very easy to tell where, you know, what, what the buttons are doing. So you know that the brightness is here, volume is here. And then it looks like you have an on switch here, uh, the cable micro USB to connect it to your computer. And then the normal cables, so the aux cable, the headphones, and the GANs frames, the goggles, go in there. So I'm pretty sure it's going to take three, or actually two, AA batteries. It's going to take two AA batteries in here. And that is the Lumina, that is the actual mind, uh, mind machine itself. So as you can see, it's very small, it fits in the palm of your hand. If I could just get my phone here to compare, you'll see that it's uh, pretty much smaller than an iPhone. This is an iPhone 8. So you'll see here that this is actually a very small device. All right, so I'm just gonna put that to the side now and look at this. So it looks like this is the headphones. At least I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure these are the headphones, we'll see. Yeah, so it looks like they give you some in-ear headphones here, which is really cool. I have to say these look a, a bit higher quality than I was expecting. These look like pretty decent in-ear headphones actually. So that is a good bonus, but you can, like I said, you can use your own headphones as long as they're stereo headphones, they're gonna work fine with the mine machine. So then we'll continue unboxing here. All right, so this is a double-ended aux cable. And then here you have a micro USB, but to be honest, I reckon everyone has a micro USB lying around. You know, this is probably not needed, although it is good that they included it just in case you don't have one. Now, hopefully when you unbox yours, you're gonna be a bit more delicate than I was just then, but these are the GANs frames. So as you can see here, this is what's gonna create those uh, crazy flashing lights in your eyelids. Just try and get the camera to focus on this. Yeah, so you can see here the LED lights on the back of these goggles. Now, as I'm sure you're aware with mind machines, the idea is you're meant to close your eyes. You're not meant to have your eyes open when you look in these. And then uh, here is where it plugs into the actual device. So what I'm gonna do, I think that's the only things I need to unbox here. Maybe this is probably a case of some sort. Yeah, so this is looks like a nice carrying case where you can take everything with you in one nice, in one nice pouch. I'm actually curious to see how everything fits into the pouch. So it's worth noting that with previous mine machines, um, they were quite bulky, they did take up quite a lot of room, but it looks like this one fits nicely into the pouch, everything fits in here. And uh, as you can see, it's not that big, I mean it would go in a rucksack quite nicely, in a suitcase or whatever. So that is the pouch. Now, So then here it looks like we have um, the sessions. Now what it looks like they have done here 
is actually included a summary of each session and what it's going to do. Unlike the previous ones where they just literally told you the, the track name, this one is actually telling you exactly what the sessions do. So I really like that, that's a nice touch. And uh, you can see how to use the different categories here. And uh, let me just give you a little summary here of some of the sessions. So it says the track length, what it's for, the category, and uh, a little summary about what it's going to sound like and, and how it's going to work. And then here I'll just give you a bit more of a detailed look at the device itself. So as you can see it's very nice, high quality, smooth. There are no bad things to say about it at the moment, you know, I need to test it obviously, but you can see here the nice, nice clean buttons, it's very easy to use. And it's very lightweight, although I haven't yet put the batteries in. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go and put the batteries in and test it over the next two weeks. And the, the final video you see, I'll try and rearrange everything here with this little board, uh, and or maybe I'll do a talking head video and actually show you me using this machine. So that's a cut for now, and now I'm going to go and test it out. All right, what's up? So uh, I've actually gone ahead and turned this thing on. I've put some batteries in this, and I have actually tested it out um, for about half an hour now. So this isn't a full review, but I just wanted to walk you through the menu system because uh, it's very exciting, but there are there is one thing that I don't particularly like, but that's the only bad thing I have to say about this so far. So let me actually just turn it off and uh, so I can show you from, from scratch how it works. So as you can see here, obviously you plug in the headphones and the GANs frames, the goggles into the top. So you just hold, press and hold this power button and device powers up. And then let me just show you here this menu system. So the first thing you'll notice is you can see here the volume level and the brightness level and the battery level. Very simple, so obviously if you move the brightness up and down you'll see that the, uh, the brightness indicator goes up or down and then the same with the volume on the other side you'll see that the volume can be moved around there. So you can basically see at a glance the volume and the brightness level and the battery. So then the menu itself you navigate with this little click wheel here you know, in all directions, and then this is the enter key. So it looks like this, the left button is to go back, and then the right one is to go forward, and then up and down, and then this is to select. So let so me let just show you, for example, here, I'm going to select sessions. And you'll notice that there are several folders here. So there's serious, and it's saved where I last was in the menu system, so I need to scroll back now. So it's serious, internal memory, procyon, gamma sessions. Now, the interesting thing here is it actually has all of the sessions from the Procyon. So if you were considering whether you should get the Lamina or the Procyon Mind Machine, I'd probably get this one simply because it already contains all of the tracks from Procyon and all of the bonus tracks that are in the Lamina as well. The only thing, and this is the only downside of the Lamina, the menu system seems to be fairly difficult to navigate because you can only see two things on the screen at any one time. So as you scroll down, you'll see it says one, two, three, four, and then you scroll down, five, six. Now, if there's a hundred tracks on here, that can take quite a while to scroll through them all. Um, and the menu system seems to be just a little bit laggy. It just seems to have that little delay when you scroll through. But other than that, there's nothing wrong with this. The menu system is very bright. It's very easy to use. So as you'll see here, yeah, like I said, the Procyon track list, the Gamma sessions, so you can see that it has uh, an addition of gamma sessions, which is something that no, as far as I'm aware, no mind machine has has got so far. So gamma sessions is a really interesting one. Procyon, internal memory, and the Sirius, which is power regeneration, quick breaks, things like that, athletics and uh, physical performance as well. So then when you select one, let me just select power regeneration. It gives you a 10 second countdown timer, but if you want to skip that, you can just press the enter key again and it starts playing immediately. Now what you'll notice here is you have the option with the up key. Let me just show you here the mod thing here. You can select the different audio types, so your aux cable, headphones and, and whatever. So you can actually select that. There it tells you how far you're in in the track. So this is a 20 minute track you're, when we're 19 seconds in so far. And then it tells you the track name. If you press the middle key, it pauses it, just like that. So, and then you'll notice that when I have, when the track is playing, as it should do, you'll see the flashing lights here. Now I actually have a, a, a lighting on here, so, it, so it's masking how bright these actually are, but if I just turn this off, then you'll see that the lights are flashing as they should be. 
And I think that's I think that's all there is to say about the Lamina so far. So in the next video, or in the next uh, section of this video, I'm going to be doing a full review after using it for two weeks, and I'll be doing some talking about how it's been going and things like that. All right, so it's now been a few weeks, and I'm going to talk about my experiences with the Lamina. Uh, this is a very high-powered mind machine. So as you've probably seen from the unboxing, it's very high quality. I'm just going to take it out now and uh, and just show you. So this is the device, I'm sure you've seen it, it's smaller than an iPhone. As you can see here, really cool, really good size. It's uh, very lightweight as well. It's actually, I'd say around the same weight as an iPhone when it's got the batteries in. Um, so I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like and how it actually looks like when it's on. And then I'm gonna talk about my experiences with the Mind Machine, with the Lamina Mind Machine from mindplace.com. So I actually like to put the headphones in first just because I feel like everything just gets tangled so easily. The goggles go in like that. And I'll now, I'm now gonna select a track. Let me just see what we've got here. So you can just see how it looks when it's actually on somebody. We're gonna go with this, a serious track, power regeneration. Okay, so it's playing now. I don't know if you can see the lights here. Hopefully the camera will still focus on me. And in just within just a few seconds, I immediately start feeling more relaxed, more calm. So you can see here the lights are flashing in the goggles like that. You close your eyes while you put the goggles on and then it plays binaural beats through the headphones, which like, you probably can't hear, but they're playing through these stereo headphones. It's really important that the headphones be stereo in order for the uh, in order for it to work properly. So what did I actually think about the Lumina? Well, I have to say, compared to the Procyon, so the Lumina is by far the better mind machine. Not only does it feel like the audio quality is better, but it also feels like it's just a more fun device to use. And if you compare them and how they look, you can see very clearly that this is the superior product just because it looks more modern, they've paid more attention to the design of this thing, it's sleeker, it's lighter, and it fits more easily in uh, in your pocket. You know, if you compare the uh, dimensions of these, and I'm gonna do a full comparison, by the way, of uh, the, Lumi the Lumina versus the Procyon. But I have to say, you know, I was impressed with the Procyon when I first got it, but the Lumina just seems to be taking the pedestal for the best mind machine. Maybe slightly behind the Casina, just because the Casina, I believe, has quite a few more tracks than the Lumina, but I may be wrong with that. So, here are some benefits of the Lumina. Number one, it contains all of the tracks from the Procyon and the Sirius device, as well as all of the bonus tracks that you get with the Lumina. So it already is more value, and it's cheaper by the way, as well. So it's organized into folders. You can actually create your own Binaural Beats tracks. You can encode your own audio, your own meditation, your own guided meditation even, and then have this play the um, visual stimuli through the goggles and actually the Binaural Beats as well over the top of that. So it's completely customizable. It comes with free Binaural Beats software that you can use, so you can actually make your own Binaural Beats as well. And if, you, if that wasn't enough, you can also, with the Gamma session, you can basically create and decide your own frequency. Say if you just want to listen to a particular binaural beats frequency with this, with the visual stimuli, okay? You can do that. You don't need to pick a specific track. You don't need to encode it. You can just literally, right from the menu system, decide the binaural beats frequency. It's a binaural beats machine. And that's what's really exciting about this. I really am uh, quite excited to be sharing this with you guys. So, so that's how that works. There is also, as I said, a track creator, which is where you can, through the micro USB cable, you can actually create your own track with your own frequency of binaural beats and encode everything yourself. It's very easy to do with the track creator and then upload it to this. And there's actually quite a big amount of internal memory in here as well. So overall, I would say very good mind machine, very powerful, highly recommended, especially if you are considering something like the Procyon or the Casina or even one of the Day for Delight models. I would say the Lumina just blows them all away in terms of quality and value for money. Now I'm not going to talk too much about the actual, this is more of a technical video, a technical review looking at the specific features and what you get with the Lumina. 
I'm going to be making another video talking about benefits and more about why you would want to use this product. But here is just in a nutshell how it works. Think of your brain like a tuning fork. So all throughout the day and, and throughout the night, we experience various brainwave states. And, they, and those brainwave states are alpha, beta, theta, gamma, and delta. Now, the, each brainwave state does something specific and helps you perform in that brainwave state for what you're trying to do. An example of that would be delta is used for deep restorative sleep. So when you're asleep, you're usually, when you're in deep sleep, in delta brainwaves. This is for, relax, for relaxing, healing yourself, restoring, whatever, okay? Contrast that to when you're awake and you, you're using a lot of prefrontal lobe activity, you're thinking, you're engaging your critical faculties. Uh, that is more alpha and beta brainwave state. So the problem is that when you consume social media, when you watch films, or even when you're just feeling a bit lazy, you're not in beta. So it can be hard to focus. If you listen to something like a mind machine, if you just plug yourself in for a 10 minute session, you can guide yourself back into alpha and beta and back into a focused set uh, state. That is incredibly powerful, not only because you can decide when to be focused, but because you can use this to, you can decide what to do. You can decide that you want to be focused with this particular frequency, or if you want to relax in the evening, you can then decide to go from alpha or beta to theta or delta. Very powerful, but a very simple thing that you can use to biohack yourself and basically just decide which brainwave states you want to experience. Now, if you want to see a video talking about specific benefits of this and maybe why you would want to use it, check my channel, How to Lucid, and uh, make sure to subscribe because I post weekly lucid dreaming tutorials, videos, sleep tech reviews, all sorts of things like that. And also, I would love to hear what you think about this, so go ahead and leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.